Jerry, how do you think Alonzo will handle all the pressure that his walk year is going to bring? Yeah, I feel the same way about him in a Mets uniform. It'd be crazy to think about him wearing anything else, but it's a big possibility. Uh, as far as his performance this year, I believe in Pete Alonso. I think last year really helped him. There was a point in that season where he was super struggling, and I think he was humbled by his approach. And this guy has proven that he's a learner. He's a student of the game. I think he's learned and become better as an overall hitter. And if you're making contact at a better rate, which I think was his biggest approach uh, to the offseason, uh, lowering those strikeout totals. I think just the contact he makes for being such a big, strong guy is going to drive the runs in. So I also believed in Michael Conforto going into mm. his platform year, uh, and I was proven wrong there. But I, I truly think that Pete Alonso will be fine, especially surrounded by the talent that's, that's going to be around there in that lineup. All right, Danny, you had Pete at number two on your list. Why is he the most impactful uh, Met to you? Yeah, well, to Jerry's point, adding J.D. Martinez will make Pete Alonso better. I think that's really important. But money talks, right? Money is motivating, and he is in a contract year, and he hired Scott Boris. This guy means business. So what does he have to do this year? He needs to perform well. He needs to have a big season. If he wants to get that monster contract, he thinks that he deserves. But that also benefits the New York Mets, right? When Pete does well, the Mets do well. And I think that his power is so so important that team lacks it and so for him to do well for him to make contact for him to just be solid over at first base right they don't need a gold glove over there they need a guy to catch the ball and do his job so I think that he is one of those important pieces to this team because this year means the most to Pete Alonso yeah you know I'm a giant nerd so I was actually looking at a Sabre research paper on how hitters act during their walk year and they actually end up doing marginally better while pitchers tend to do a lot worse uh, when it's a contract year I see Pete doing that but not just because of what a research paper says you look at the guys who have had great walk years you're thinking Barry Bonds and Pirates 1992 A-Rod both times Aaron Judge and all these guys had a specific sort of makeup they were clutch players they were leaders they were the type of people who did really well in the spotlight and I do feel like Pete is that type of player so I do think he's going to step up to the plate literally <laughs> metaphorically however you want to say it I think he's going to hit his home runs and maybe you know chase a little bit less because that contact was something that he was working on and yeah I think it's going to be good you know I get that sense too Jerry how much do you think Aaron Judge I mean Pete has been compared to Judge not the players overall but as far as the home runs go and as we just said nobody has more home runs than Pete since he's been in the league in 2019 we know his prowess as a home run hitter but how much do you think him seeing Judge do what he did break a record in his walk year motivates Pete going into his walk year I do think it plays a factor. Uh, the fact that he's so competitive and he thinks he's the best power hitter in the game, and rightfully so. I think numbers overall have proven that since 2019. Uh, and I think Juan Soto being there in his walk year as well is also a motivating factor because Pete believes he's the best player, best offensive player on the planet, and he wants to go out there and prove that. So Judge and Juan Soto getting the most press in the same city that he's in is also a motivating factor.